turkey brother. Jesus, man. First off, Mash, thank you for the sub, brother. Go to sleep. Nah, bro, can't. Back, man. We back. We got some juice to fucking say. Um, turkey, thank you for the sub for yourself, brother. And also, the 10 gifted motherfucking subs. This man's coming in with the bomb, boys. Man. Now, for some reason, I can't hear the stream alerts. I'm not sure if you guys are hearing it too, but I'll have to fix that if that's the case. Um... Who else do we get? Hang on. I'm going back through chat just having a look at things. Hang on. Sorry. Who you got? My God, brother. Did you, uh, did you get the new... Yeah, bro. Um, uh, yeah, no. I got the same mini, bro. But yeah, it turns out it was definitely the... Goxalar. Hang on. Let me go here. Oh, fuck. That's one cam. Hang on. Yeah, there we go. Let's get the fat cam on the roll. Ah... Uh, that's actually all right. It's not. It's not blocking my face. I might have to shorten that down a little bit, but overall, that that works perfectly. I have no idea why the fucking chat is fucking working. Man, no sound working, bro. You're in the 1950s movie, yeah, bro. I found the yeah. So the issue is, I don't think there's enough light in this room, so it's kind of fucking kind of fucking flashing so i might have to end up getting a key light um just because this room is not fucking bright enough so that's something i'll have to look into later down the road but yeah it's kind of triggering me a fucking a little bit i'm not gonna lie um hang on let me minimize this just a little bit yeah that's better yeah i played around boys i played around i played around oh yeah so um How's it all going? <laughs> right. So. Lads. I had a... We had a very fucking shitty time. I'm not going to lie to you. It was a very shitty time. So. The gist of this. Of what fucking happened. Um, for those that aren't in the Discord, of course. You may have fucking already know. Um, yo, Lion Dude. What's good, brother? Good to see you again, brother. Um, but yeah, look. I mentioned everything on the Discord. So, I think... Pretty much everybody here should be aware of what's happened. But if not, oh my fucking god, bro. Loogie. We have Loogie gifting fucking five subs, my dude. Man, what a fucking comeback, you boys. Yo, we got a fucking hype train level four, boys. Keep it up. Damn. Damn, boys. That's a fucking wild. <laughs> Holy shit. What a fucking mad celebration, boys, in return. Fuck. You guys, that's, that's how you know you miss me so much, boys. Nah, I appreciate it. <laughs> Do you want more money? Yeah, bro, go on. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck, Luke? Yo, let's get, let's get the, let's get the sub train level five, boys. Give it up. <laughs> make my, make my day. Yeah, I know you can't afford it. No, it's fine. I appreciate those that are. All right. You don't have to choice of yourselves that's it oh my god turkey's back at it again all right anyway while you're gifting away thank you boys um i'll go ahead and mention a couple things of what's going on or what's happened so you may have noticed yes my fucking cam is clear as fuck right now because i have bought a new webcam it's the elgato webcam uh but as of just setting it back up it's kind of fizzing a little bit because of the lower light lighting so i might have to end up getting a key light after all that was actually something i was hoping not to go for but as you can see right now it's kind of fucking going off like crazy and this room's kind of got it's like it's kind of not light enough in here like i thought maybe just the two lights were good enough but probably fucking not so worth a shot so fuck it okay <laughs> you get a sex like fuck off scotty man what's good brother Good to see you, man. Um, but yeah, no. Um, pretty much new webcam. Um, and uh, I'm doing one, bro. Returning, bro. Returning stream today. Um, basically, um, the gist of everything, boys. Uh, those that are on the Discord or those that don't know what's going on. Basically, my GoXLR fried itself. Um, it was just one day that I just didn't think it was going to be bad, but. Yeah, 
I ended up doing a 10 hour day somewhere in March, somewhere two months ago in March. And um, it was like a 10 hour day. So I was going from one to the other. Now it was a sunny day. So no rain, no reports of rain. And for some reason, because I left my window open, just getting the room a bit of air and there was rain literally later on without notice, without anything. And no one was home. So I got home. One of the monitors was smashed with rain. Thankfully, it's good. It's still surviving. It's still living. How? Don't know. Um, but, however, the GoXLR did not survive. That instantly fried itself. Because I think it went inside of the fucking thing and fried whatever was inside of it. Even though it showed it was working, it fucking did not want to work. It fucked. It, it was completely fucked. So, without the GoXLR, there was no streaming. I'm not because I can't set it back to one stream because then I have to reset it back up for two streaming. That shit is painful enough to deal with. So I'm not going to fucking fix that. Um, and either way, while playing a game on there, it's not going to fucking go well with streaming and all that. So fuck that. I decided to just go for another one. And it turns out, yes, I, it, we, I think we were literally both talking about this when I was talking to you boys. Yes, it's the GoXLR itself. So the GoXLR itself definitely fried i can confirm that after getting a new one um i only got it just as recently loogie brother what the fuck man that level six boys you guys are fucking nuts and scott scotty bro three months my dude thank you brother holy shit what's the highest level on the hype train again boys is it six i actually don't remember i haven't been through a fucking hype train in, in fucking ages bro <laughs> holy shit yeah no nah, it's all good bro don't don't go further brother were well, you planning on getting all the boys to chip in and you go to laugh for you the birthday but I guess oh no don't no nah, look it's all good bro it's, it's all good like i ended up doing um the other method which i wasn't sure if i was gonna do it but i did it anyway because it worked for me better um i ended up doing afterpay um so it's all good i got that all covered boys you don't have to worry about that um so <laughs> time for another idea <laughs> sorry boys so at last trials tonight um no so i will this is just going to be a just catching up stream and i'll end up doing games um a little bit later down the track so <clears throat> What PC did you get on Afterpay? No, I got my GoXLR through Afterpay. So there was a store that was nearby that I ended up getting it from. It was not a bad price. Um, and it worked and it's manageable for me as well too. So I was able to get it from just a randy ass fucking music store somewhere here in Australia. Don't know where. <laughs> oh, I'm sure I'll look it up. Um, but yeah, no games tonight. This is just going to be a catch-up stream just to provide all the news. That's what's going on because yes, there has been some things that's happened. I'm happy to talk about them to you guys. Um, some of them, yes, it's unfortunate. Um, but there has been some good things along with this as well too. And I guess just catch up on some gaming stuff as well too. What's been happening because I'll tell you right now, it's, um, it's, uh, it's all over the place. Boys. That's all I can fucking tell you. It's all over the place. So, I'm going to bring you guys over here. I hate looking away on this fucking monitor. Um, fucking monitor. Uh, I see what you guys meant. I see what you meant, Mash, when I looked like I was in the 1950s. It looked, it looked weirdly worse on... Hang on, let me go to my stream. Hang on, let me go back to my stream again. Oh, why is it on 360? Cunt, go to 720. Okay, it's on 720. Yeah, I definitely need a key light. All right. That's definitely, um, definitely weird. All right. <laughs> Joking. Um, Allied Gaming does awesome PCs with Afterpay. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I'm not worried about PCs, bro. Um, PCs I'm fine with. My PCs have been great. It was my, it was my one tool that controls all the sound. Because I have two PCs. There's this one tool that I get that I literally control all the sounds in one place. And basically it allows me to control whatever was on this PC 
and whatever was on this PC basically. So I control it in one station and set it up perfectly pretty much. So if I don't have that tool, I can't stream. There's no control to all the sounds and I can't simply just carry sounds over to another PC. It's a fuck, it's a big fuck around basically. It it's a massive fuck around. Thanks brother, it's for the hydration. Oh, fuck off with, why are they still spamming? Why, why is that still spammed on? What a fuck that. Okay, I'm not, ref I'm not fucking refunding your points boys. So I'm just giving you a fucking clear heads up right now. You spam that shit. I'm not fucking refunding your points. Oh, you know what? Nah, I'm turning it off now. You guys are fucking abusing it. Fuck you. Turn it off. Fucking idiots. Fucking donkeys. Fuck off. Alright, uh, hang on. What the fuck? I'm gonna limit that for now on. Fuck yous. Where is it? Fuck are you? Um, stupid. Uh, there you are. Why the fuck? Oh, here. Motherfucker. Alrighty. I put it. Oh, okay, wait. Hang on. That's just for one. Hang on. I didn't do it for these, didn't I? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I didn't. <laughs> you fucking got away with that. I'll tell you fucking what. You got away from that. What? Wait. Okay, wait. Hydration. Oh, it's fucking stretch. Okay, stretch was the only one not fucking edited. Oh, okay. That was the only one that wasn't edited too. All right. Bash undone it. Bash. I swear to fucking God. Fucking undone it. I will fucking get you, bro. All right. No fucking joke. Do not... Fucking undone it, or else I'll fucking get you done. All right. Anyway, back to it. No, no, no. I'm not gonna ban it. It's all right. He'll stop. He'll have to stop. Then I'm gonna get fucking angry in a moment. All right. Anyway, going back to what I was saying. Pay <laughs> hundred to fucking ban him. No, no. He he'll stop. Okay. So moving on. Mangle. What's good, brother? I know I'm alive. I'm back. All right. I'm back. So. Basically, um, yeah, a lot's happened throughout this time off, trying to build up to get this bullshit. Um, basically, yeah, Goxala was fucked. I got that all sorted now, as you see. Now, along with that, um, just as of recent, um, again, I've already mentioned this. I mentioned this a few days ago, actually. Um, those, those that know Pepper, um, most of you won't, and I don't blame you if you don't, okay? A lot of, like, long time people will know Pepper a lot, um, but unfortunately, he's gone. He's, um, been put down as of last Thursday. So, um, due to his quality of life, he's not up in the balance right now. He's, um, he grew to the point of it's time, you know? So, pretty much, um, he's all out of the way now, up there. Um, that's really all I can really say, really. I just don't want to keep trying to mention, uh, I mean, I don't mind mentioning it, but it just, every time I just think about it, it's just like, yeah, it's just, it's just upsetting, but look, I find what I did, though, was a lot more better because, one, um, those that remember, I mean, one time I mentioned about a story of our first dog, she never got that type of piece, so, this time, our Pepper actually got that piece, and, to be honest, it was the best decision that we ever made because what happened was, when he got the sleeper injection, only half of it got in there, and he was done already. The, the, the vets confirmed to say that stuff goes in and it was going to last about five minutes. He went the moment it got halfway in. So, um, so, I don't know. What the fuck did you? Oh, 
address. All right. Um. Anyway, bash. What the fuck, bro? Anyway, so he's been all sorted as as um. He's been all sorted. Um. Pretty much. We we're just waiting for um like a just a little box to come back to us with everything that is on there. Um, but that's really all I'll just say right now. But, yeah, no, it's been, it was a tough fucking moment, pretty much, that's come around, but it's, it's all done, it's out of the way, he's at his peace, that's all I will say. So, right, anyway, moving on from that. So, um, what else do I need to mention? I think that's really all the life things. Oh, fuck, should I... Should I mention about the other thing? Oh, fuck me. I don't even know if I want to, to be honest with you. Yeah, no, thanks, bro. Thanks, guys. Like I said, I, I don't expect you guys to know who Pepper is, okay? Most, only the OGs really know who Pepper is. So, if you don't know, don't, don't worry about it. As I said, I'm not here to really um, express over much about it. As I said, um, I know you long time boys know Pepper. So, that was just one thing I wanted to point out. Um, just to pass on. Just news. What's happened. I'm comfortable on mentioning it because, as I said, um, he's he's been a he's been a part he's been a time he's been a, he's been on the streams before, so that's why I wanted to mention it. He is a good fella. He's a good fella, but um, yeah, he just had a lot of things wrong with him. So, it was a good thing that we got it out of the way, and it was just a good thing that we did it in a good time because he was definitely not going to last all of this year. He would have definitely been dropped dead at some point year we don't we don't know it would have been way sooner though um all right so other news well let's catch up on what's fucking going on so i caught up on a fucking lot of things that has happened so man what should i start with first boys tell me tell me what i should start with tell me what i should start with because i know there's one big thing that happened t as of today oh man i've got a lot to say about that we want to start talking about that or or do we want to fucking oh, I'm fucking shut the fuck up mash brother fucking hell right anyway don't want to talk about fucking it's all right don't worry about it <clears throat> right boy oh yeah Boy, what could I say about that fucking... I'll leave that for last, actually. I don't want to really speak about that just yet, but we'll come back to that. That That's actually pissed me off a lot today. So, I don't want to really fucking go ahead and mention any bullshit about that just yet. But yeah, there's a lot I want to say about that. You had your 31st birthday in April? It was fun? Fuck yeah, brother. Fuck yeah, bro. Happy birthday in April, though, bro. My birthday's coming. Oh, actually, yeah, I've got my birthday fucking coming up soon. I'm like, I'm not excited for it. <laughs> oh, well, I'm actually excited because um, we're seeing Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse um, on the first. I'm actually really excited to see. Oh, and we saw Fast and Furious X as well, too. Um, I won't say too much. Uh, I will say... <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm, I don't know how to really say it. it it's all right. It's all right. I mean, I'll say it's better than nine. <laughs> That's all I could tell you. Nine was a bit fucking painful. I'm not gonna lie. Did you see the Mario movie? No, I actually did not see it. Um, that was one thing I actually missed. But funny enough, um, someone actually posted the full movie on Twitter, so I actually just watched it off there. <laughs> so I never actually got to see the theater. But some Randy had like posted the full movie on Twitter, and I fucking just watched it off of there. It's on Amazon Prime. Is it? No, it's not. It's not. You would have to pay for it though, but I, I'm not paying for it because I've already seen it. Um, are you sure? I don't remember seeing anything about it on Thingo. Give <clears throat> a look. Okay, good. I'm logged in. I was just about to say, if I'm not, I'm not fucking bothering then. Um. Oh yeah, here it is. Yeah. So it's only available to rent or buy, which I don't know. I've already seen it, so I don't really need to worry about buying it. For fucking 30 bleh, fucking 34.99, are you fucking high? 
No way. No fucking way. I am not paying for a fucking $35 movie, cunt. Like, what the fuck? Holy shit. What do you think of it? I actually really love it. Um, just like the Sonic movie. I thought they did really well with it. The way that it worked with it. Like, I love how the movie... I, I can't really say too much because those that I haven't seen it, it's a spoiler otherwise. So I'm not going to say much about it. But it was actually really good. I actually liked it. There was there were definitely a lot of references and... Um, bro, Luigi's a pussy, bro. Bro, he was a pussy through that movie. Oh, man. Luigi... Lu like, I just don't understand. The man is a pussy. <laughs> sorry, that, that's gonna trigger you, Luigi. I'm sorry, bro. But I just felt like he was a bit of a pussy. But then again, I think that's his general nature as a character. So I can't really do. I can't really say anything. But Peach is oh, dude, <laughs> dude. Jack Black is fucking amazing. That's all I can fucking tell you, bro. That's all I can tell you. Jack Black, Peaches, art, beautiful, love it. But yeah, really good. I absolutely love, I actually love that. That was actually good. So question is, what could they build off from this? So they could actually continue, they could actually make, like, I don't know. Let's think about this, right? I'm going to turn off the music because it's fucking distracting me right now. So let's think about this, right? They could do a build up to a Smash Brothers movie if they could, like, release they were thinking about making a Legend of Zelda fucking movie next. So I was like, bro, if we're going to make Mario, Zelda, and whatever else is coming out, they could make it up to a Super Smash Brothers movie if they wanted to. But I think that's a long pathway road. Have you watched, dude, Deji, oh bro, Deji 20v1. Dude, that is one of my favorite 20v1s now. I actually really thought Deji nailed that fucking shit, bro. That was actually really funny. Like, his awkwardness got him the W, cunt. That's all I can fucking tell you. His awkwardness was just absolutely fucking funny, cunt. <clears throat> um, a sequel is confirmed and possible Luigi's... Yeah, I did hear about something about that, though, as well, too. So I'll, I'll be still keen to see it. I don't care. I mean, anything... Like, if they keep up... If they keep that up, you got my money. What I was really pissed about, and this is what I hate about critics sometimes, because critics are not going to understand. Because I remember when the movie first came out, the critics were going so harsh on it. But I bet you that those critics never fucking heard of Super Mario or any of the Mario, or never even played the Mario games. And they were critiquing hard on that fucking movie. And I'm like, brother, you probably haven't even played the fucking Super Mario games to actually fucking understand the logic. <laughs> so um yeah the teaser trailer for fnav oh bro i've already seen it dude i'm down you got i'm down i'm down Lu luigi we're seeing that bro <laughs> that's 27th of october i think it, i think that was the confirmed date ruined it yeah i did see the ruin and speaking about that i'll get to more on that in just a sec um what else could i say i thought kai's one was funny but deji's was good too oh bro kai like, okay, here's what I'll say. Kai definitely nailed it. Uh, Deji definitely nailed it. There's also someone else that also nailed it as well too. I want to think of who that name is, but I can't. I, I don't know. I think it was, um, oh, maybe I have to go back and look now, but I'll, I'll look at it in just a sec. You've been watching Star Wars? Oh, bro, good on you, bro. Ca mate, look at this guy. Mate, you have to, mate, ca mate, join the club, brother. Mate, you've got a lot of fucking binge watching to do with Star Wars, though. Like, have you watched, like, have you watched, like, let's think about this. Have you watched all of episode one to six? Have you watched the Clone Wars? Have you watched the Rebels? Have you watched Bad Batch? Like, brother, there's so much fucking shit to binge on that shit if you haven't seen Star Wars, brother. It's a lot of fucking lore that's like, it's like a fucking stack of fucking lore. <laughs> I'm watching the Clone Wars. Oh, fuck yeah, bro. Yeah, The Clone Wars was an absolute goated series. Absolutely fucking love that series, bro. He has watched episode one, two, and The Clone Wars movie. Oh, yeah. Nice. So you're watching all of The Clone Wars seasons. Then you're going to get up to three. Okay. So you're doing it by cro chronically. Okay. Gotcha. You're doing it through the whole start to like how it is. Not like yearly released or anything like that. I see. That's good. That's good shit, bro. That's good shit. 
I've been watching it again with him. Fuck yeah, bro. No, that's mad. We need to binge watch some of this shit, actually. Now that I think about it, I'll join you now. <laughs> um, okay. The animatronics in the FNAF movie look like they're stone. Oh, I know what you were trying to say. The red eyes. Yeah. I, I, I mean, is that that bad? Let's be honest. Who gives a fuck? Like, is it really that bad? Is the red eyes for the animatronics that bad? I don't think they are. Like, is that really one thing? Is that really what's wrong now? Is it? Is this going back to the whole, oh, this isn't right. We need to fucking fix that. Like, come on. It's red eyes. Who cares? Like, I get it. They, you, you guys want it to be fully lord based and like actual like, okay, this is what they look like. But it's not fucking bad. Surely. Five nights at Pubic. So, um, true. I do remember back then they did have the, the, like the black eyes, like I think at one point, um, but yeah, there was actually one out of trunk that I remember that's fucking scary. That had full on menacing eyes. I'll think about it. But anyway, anyway, what other things? Um, <laughs> I can't help that. <laughs> You're fucked. <laughs> oh man. We need a Markiplier cameo. I'm sure they're going to cameo some of them, you know? Because I heard that they had a lot of them, eh? Cal Kestis has an orange lightsaber, bro. Okay, so, yeah, FNAF. Um, yeah, so I recently saw Fast X. Um, I will be seeing Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse. I'll be seeing The Flash as well. I'm actually really excited for that movie. They, they, they keep hyping it up and saying it's really good, and I'm still going to fucking see it. Um, I'm actually really excited because, well, yeah, by the time The Flash comes out, that's the end of technically the Snyderverse because whatever happens in that movie, time's fucked. Or DC's absolutely fucked, basically. Can't wait for next week? Yeah, bro, you know it. Um, what else is coming out? Oh, yeah, Secret and Bay. Oh, yeah, there's, um, keeping up on Marvel lore. Oh, I saw Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 as well, too. Dude. Or, oh, dude, too good. Too good. That's all I have to say. Really fucking good. Uh, movie that's the end the ending of the guardians as well too so make sure you go see that uh definitely really good ahsoka yeah, i'm actually really keen for that actually just today i don't know if you heard um the fellow who played falstag as well too from thor he had passed away today i've only just found that out just recently today um he was also in the ahsoka series as well too he was in one of he was that big Bella with the light with the red, with the orange lightsaber. That dude passed away as of today. Fifty-seven or fifty-eight. So not looking well, man. That's all I can tell you. A lot of there's a lot of shit just keeps happening, boys. It's just fucking terrible. Um But no, so what else do we have? So yeah, we've gone through movies now. Alright, let's go through games now. So Lugi's just come out of nowhere and He's fucking gifted me. We, I watched the newest Ant Man. All I have to say is the whole movie wouldn't have happened if Cassie didn't take, make the quantum. <laughs> yeah, bro. So okay, honest thoughts. What do you think about Kane? Honest thoughts. So what did you think about Kane? This is the official evil Kane, by the way. I don't know. If I'm going to be absolutely honest, I don't think he did a lot in that movie. All I'm going to, all I'm going to say is, is that the high, uh, the high evolutionary actually did a lot more fucking evil shit than Kane. That's all I can fucking tell you. Those that have seen volume three, you'll fucking understand. But I find that fucker is a lot more dementing than fucking Kane so far in the series. Kane, I don't think did, lo uh, did a lot. Kane is a w tough boys. I'm not talking about fucking Kane, the WWE wrestler. All right, I'm talking, wait, I'm talking about Marvel here. All right. So, anyway, um, yeah, I don't know. Like, I think that movie, it was still good. It was still good. It was the introduction to Kane, um, but I think I wish I saw a bit more and a bit more because he was supposed to be a more menacing villain than anything, but I don't think he was menacing enough in that movie that one in ant-man uh is either the good one or the worst one 
So he was the bad guy. He was the villain. So not the big fat head. But not that. Not that guy yet. I'm not, I don't want to talk about him. Probably a spoiler. So don't mention his name. Um, the other fucker who's beaming up lasers and shit. The future tech bullshit. The guy who's been in the fucking future. That dude. Because yes, there are two villains. I'm not gonna say who the other one is. All right. I'm sure those might have already seen it, but I'm just being safe for everyone just because I don't like to spoil others. All right? So I'm talking about him. The man himself. The time traveler. Him. But anyway. Um, yeah, so that was, that was it. Okay. Out of all the Kangs, is he the good one or worst one? Oh, you asking about... Okay, I think I see where you're going with this. Um... Well, see, he was the outcast. Some were saying he's the real Kane, but I don't think he is. But then again, he, I don't think he's gone. That's all I can tell you. That's all I'm going to say. I don't think he is. But, I, but does he seem like the good one? No. No, he's... Okay. So, no, he's not good. He's evil. So... He's exiled from his fucking main group of all the other ones. But that one, he still had the sense of evil. Though, he still wanted to conquer though. That's his thing. He's a conqueror. So he, he, he's destroyed worlds. He's killed people. He's broken incursions. He's not good. That one was definitely not a pleasant one. He was definitely... He's definitely not like the others. He did not want to join the others, but... He was definitely still evil Kang. That's all I could really say. Yeah, he was trying to stop the others, but yeah, he had his own motives to take over or conquer worlds. So, I don't know. But I reckon he could be the... the he could, I don't know. Some are saying he's legit Kane, but I don't think he was. He might be, but I don't know. Anyway, um, game news. Let's move on to that. So, Lugi comes out of nowhere, all right, and uh, thank you, by the way, brother. Thank you, by the way. Um, he's come out of nowhere and gifted me God of War. So, boys, definitely playing God of War. Definitely are going to be playing that sooner or later. He's also gifted me Nav, Security Breach, which we are going to play because, yes, as of Mangle just recently mentioned, uh, there is... A DLC called Bruin. So we will be doing that. So I'm about to experience some fucking either broken shit or not. Well, Luki told me, apparently, so here's the thing that I've heard. Luki told me they fixed the game. I'm gonna I'm gonna see about that, Luki. Yo, kill what's good, brother? What's good, man? Welcome, man. Welcome back. Um so I guess we'll see. Anyway, um Now, Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Now, I have not seen anything regarding it. I have lived on for a fucking long time not seeing any gameplay or any news or any spoilers or anything. So far, I have heard that the performance of the game is shit. So, I'm not going to get it until I finish... Until I finish Fallen Order on Grandmaster and then I'll play it. That will buy me time to actually build up my knowledge of the game and then fucking do it. So that's the go. I'm good. How are you doing? Fucking good, bro. We're back on streaming again. My is all good to go. We're talking about some shit. But no, we're doing we're good, bro. We're on to talking some gaming news right now. Um, I stayed up to 4 a.m. to get it. I saw uh, MASH playing the game. Don't uh, play Survivor on Grandmaster. No, nah, see, now I want to play it on Grandmaster. Trust me, they have aimbot. Who's got aimbot? The stormtroopers? Or are you talking about other fucking beings in the world? Which I'm sure there are other beings. And the boss is um, too shot. Nah, bro. I'll, I'll, ch I'll take the challenge. I don't care. Nah, bro. I want to I wanna accept that challenge. It's fucked. Well, see, maybe it'll be better if the performance was fixed. I heard the performance of the game is not great at the moment. Like, they capped the frames, apparently. Like, did, okay, tell me about this. Did they cap the frames or is the frames or the performance is just shit right now because they haven't fixed it? Because that's all I've heard so far. Um, surely you get Dark Souls stream. 
Dark Souls, bro. I've not touched Dark Souls, bro, and I know what it's about. It's fucking hard. <laughs> um, bad performance. Performance is shit. Yeah, nah. So I'm going to leave that out for a while until they fix that. So until they fix that, I will definitely play it. Um, what else? I saw Turkey mentioned Outlast Trials. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's come to my it's come to my fucking ears that Outlast is now going the forest path. So if you guys don't know, um, the Outlast Trials is out, and they are doing um what the forest does, and that's updates. So it's in alpha. It's in like early access stage right now. So we are gonna definitely be playing that. Um, I don't know when. Um, I'm thinking about maybe this weekend, possibly, but, uh, we'll have to see how we go. I'll have to get a stream schedule all organized first to see what we're doing. Cause I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> if I'm going to be all honest. Um, and, uh, that's all I can really say, but I'm actually really excited to play the game again. I'm hoping they added more levels. I have not seen anything regarding the new stages and what they've done. So don't mention anything about it, please like to keep that fucking out of my ears right what else what else we got boys what other games oh let me have a look hang on what other games have, have i heard about oh it's thursday morning at 6 a.m um let me switch it up to this uh gaming okay i will be watching this summer game fest the playstation showcase playstation is going to be announcing all of these fucking things and let me tell you it is going to probably be the biggest fucking reveals of all time i'm just going to say it right now you do not want to miss it there is going to be some reveals that are going to be fucking insane and i'm really excited to watch this so i found a tweet from someone but i didn't save it like a fucking idiot so i will be watching it and there's going to be some huge reveals i saw someone who ticked off some things that are going to be showing and it is going to be fucking insane I'm really excited to hear about it. Oh, and I also heard... Oh, yeah. So I also heard that Mortal Kombat released a trailer, which is funny. I'm surprised that they're actually going with that path. Well, actually, so technically that is Mortal Kombat 12, but they're calling it 1 because with the whole time bullshit that they did in 11. I watched the stories, so don't worry. I haven't played the game, but I've watched the cutscenes to every single fucking MK11 game. But it does look really good, though. I will fucking say that. It looks fucking clean. So, it's definitely fucking awesome. It is definitely exciting. I will probably maybe get it just for story. But I don't know. I'm not a real person on fighting games. I do prefer story rather than its own self. So, I might get it for story base. But that's really all I can see myself doing. I'm not really much into the multiplayer side of things. So, I probably may do that. But I don't know. Not really uh, but yeah, it does look really good though. I can 100% agree with that one. Um, so everyone else is um, going through here. Yeah, bro. Deviation Games is finished apparently as well too, I've heard. So these guys aren't doing any more shit. They've actually stepped down JC. I've heard that. That JC got fucking stepped down on his position. I don't know if you guys have seen, heard of that. But um, yeah, he got stepped down from his um role in deviation games so fucking nuts hoping to hear news on yes i i am fucking keen to hear about this game i'm really hoping they're gonna fucking release more on alan wake 2 i'm actually really fucking pumped that makes me like dude i want to fucking play alan wake 1 i get myself prepared for this fucking game i'm actually really excited this is one of my child this is one of my fucking favorite action um story-based games silent hill 2 remaster i did hear about this what else Oh yeah, the DLC for RE4. Yes, we need to play RE4 as well too. I do want to fucking play RE4. Uh, that was actually one of my games I still want to fucking play to this day. And by the way, Turkey, I fucking 100% all the achievements as well too on RE8. I managed to go through the whole melee shit and bro, fuck Urias V2. That's all I have to say. Fuck Urias V2 on melee. That shit, that was shit. That was the shittest fucking thing that I had to ever fucking go through, cunt. That's all I have to say. Really fucking terrible. But I got it. Um, oh, I wanted to find that guy's fucking tweet, but it's not there. The 
dude. Oh man, Spider Man Two. We need to get back to finishing um Miles Morales as well too. I haven't. Oh yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah, we have. <laughs> what the fuck is that gif? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Keep going. Oh, this guy right here. Yeah, this dude. This dude. This dude. This dude. This is the guy right here. Um. Yeah, dude. Do we reckon RE4 will get game of the year? Do we reckon that's going game? Well, what do you reckon, boys? Game of the year? Because this game has got the highest rating of all fucking games. Every single person fucking aped shit on that fucking game. Yes? Dude, I, that's why I need to play it, bro. Um, fuck. Where is it, cunt? I'm going to find that fucking tweet, and when I do... I mean, I don't know if it's confirmed, but this is what I'm hoping is going to happen. No. No. Ah, oh, he's probably... It's probably going to be like... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Is this one? Only three days. Okay, the, this must be legit then. Okay. Spider-Man 2. We're going to definitely be seeing Spider-Man 2. It's got to happen. We've been waiting this long. We need to hear more. Silent Hill 2, that will definitely be. The Last of Us multiplayer. What the fuck is this? There's going to be a multiplayer of The Last of Us? Okay. Final Fantasy. Yeah, Final Fantasy. Death Stranding 2. I've not played Death Stranding, so I don't know. But I heard it was crazy. Wolverine. Mate. I'm actually really excited for Wolverine. That's actually, I've seen the tease and it's fucking good. And start. I thought they scrapped this. I thought they fucking scrapped this. Oh, maybe they didn't scrap it. No, they, they delayed it, I think, because of studio issues. I think I remember that. I think they definitely. Oh. Damn. Oh yeah, we'll get like we'll keep we'll get to black ops we'll get to black ops stuff in just a sec, boys. Don't worry, I'll be getting to that soon. Um, the last of us, last of us um did have a multiplayer. It was on PS3 and I think PS4. Really? I just touch it because I just didn't think it was gonna be fun. I don't know. Maybe I just didn't explore it enough. Breaking. Oh, what's this? Oh, here we go. What's this? Alan Wake 2 is targeting an October launch, according to Matthew Pareto, the pro oh yeah, the yeah the protagonist. Oh, I think I did hear about this. Well, shit, if it's definitely October. Oh man, okay. Alan Wake looks like John Wick. Yeah, bro, his his fucking hairstyle has completely changed. Like fucking hairstyle is completely out of whack, bro. I didn't actually think about that. The Last of Us multiplayer game reveal. Oh, here we go. So what do we know about this? Here's everything to know. The multiplayer with unique storyline, as ambitious as, may, as the main games, introducing new characters, exploring new locations, concept arts shows the West Coast of USA. Okay. So I think I heard of this. They're making like a side... St I, I remember hearing about this. They're making a side story, like another story of The Last of Us, basically. So it's not going to be about... Joel, Ellie, or anybody else. It's it's a different story, basically. Is essentially what they're going for. And it's multiplayer. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's really about it. But, no. I'm... <laughs> okay. Um, right. Other gaming news. Um, I don't think there's really much to really say. Like, that's pretty much my only goal to really think about is yeah i'm definitely going to be watching the game summer the summer fest um so i will be up at probably fucking 5 30 or something or five just to prep up the streams and all that and then we'll get to watching it those that want to join you're more than welcome to join and watch the whole reveals a lot of these are going to be probably all based on playstation releases which i will definitely find them playstation 5 and um playing it from there because obviously they're not going to come to pc for like a year or so later we know how we put. When are you gonna play Fallen Order? Um, so I will most likely play Fallen Order once I get it reinstalled again, which I will probably be playing it very soon. Because I do want to get back to some more story-based games that are 
not completed. So that's all in order. Spider-Man Miles Morales. Uh, what else was I doing? Let me go back to my Discord. What was the um, schedule like? Hogwarts Legacy we already completed, so that was already done. The Forest. Oh, shit. Okay, so in other news, boys. Um, uh, yes, I was just about to mention that. Good call. Um, okay, so there was something I didn't mention. I did a hard reset on this PC not long ago. Why? Because I downloaded something stupid and it was a malicious fucking thing. So I had to do it because it was fucked. And yes, the forest 100 days, the file is gone. So I've completely lost all my days. It's done. So what this means though, which I'll come back to it, don't worry, is we're not going to do the forest right now because it's fucked it's done uh we are going to go right into suns though and do our 100 days there only because the game has updated so much since i since we last played it and there's a lot of shit that has changed to the game so i think we definitely should now move back to sons of the forest and do the 100 challenge on there so that we'll definitely be doing when we're, we're obviously going to stick it to sundays Everyone's more comfortable with Sundays right now. And it's probably the best day that a lot of people can probably join. But then again, I'm really hoping that they have fixed a bit of a performance on that game. But I don't know. I haven't really caught up on their, their like, how to say it, their updates and all that shit. I know they've added in a lot of fucking things. That's all I can really say. I'll build a house and... <laughs> and rent five sticks a day. <laughs> Fuck yeah, bro. Now that'll be the go. But now there's so much change for the game. So, um, right. So yeah, we're gonna get back to story based games. Uh, we're going to yeah get Suns back on. Destiny. We are still gonna play Destiny. Um, Destiny. I feel like we. We're really just really doing it for raids and shit at this point now because I don't know I haven't really been on as much I've only just been on when we're actually doing a raid that's really about it now that could probably change by the way boys now that I'm back to streaming so it might actually be fucking harder now to get me on <laughs> so um just a little heads up all right a new season is tomorrow oh fuck me really anything fucking new for us or like what wait what new season Wait, so everything's changing. Wait, I'm not... Wait, new dungeon Friday. New dungeon. AKA Saturday for us. Season of the Deep. Don't know about that, but okay. I'll keep up on that one. But I'm just a little bit fed up because I'm just trying to get to rank, fucking rank 11. Nope. I have to still get a lot of fucking exotic weapons. So that's been a bit of a... That's been a bit of a... A bit of a bit of, a bit of rubbish for me right now so but i like having champ though boys that's all i can tell you let's go champ that's all i have to say that's all i have to say boys let's go champ <laughs> fucking first gilded fucking uh title i get champ oh love you. first dungeon uh run myself mashing you friday though what am i doing friday Friday, I am doing a one to six. And I actually have work on the next morning, actually. Oh, you mean Saturday? Yeah, Saturday, I can definitely look at doing it after 12.30, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, we can have a look at that. We'll probably get that set up. Okay. Right. Now, last final thing let's talk about, boys, and this is, this is the depressing part now. So, also, as of today, those that have been keeping up with um, Boy and all the other programmers or other clients to COD games, Activision has created cease and desists to all clients that are running the Call of Duty games in their own fucking server browsers or whoever's created the clients, basically. So that's SMB2, Boy, and sooner or later, 
plutonium. So right now, as of today, Call of Duty is not safe to play. I highly recommend never buying Call of Duty because Call of Duty is never safe. Maybe Modern Warfare 2 is still fine. Maybe anything that's Activision Blizzard I think is fine, but anything that's lower than that, so we're talking about the BO1, the BO2s, the Modern Warfares, all of that shit, don't buy. Because Treyarch, uh, not Treyarch, I was about to say Treyarch, Activision are just nothing more than scumbags. That's all I have to say. So, let's have a look here. Let's run you through here. Activision has the nerve to take down so many clients that protect us from cheaters, while at the same time never updating OG servers or anti-cheat and continuing to charge full price. Such a joke of a company. I know, right? This week, Activision Blizzard sent out cease and desist multiple projects that allowed some of the original Call of Duty titles like Black Ops 3, Modern Warfare 2, etc. to be played safely. And this is the point of all this. The point of all this was safety. Because these games are not safe. If you go on them, depending on what server you join, you're going to get fucking hacked. You're going to get malicious fucking viruses sent from lobbies into your fucking computer. That's how fucked these games are. They're fucked. And these games are still full price on Steam. Yeah, so here's um, X Labs. So if you guys don't know X Labs, X Labs is boy. There's also other projects on there, such as Call of Duty Ghosts, Advanced Warfare, and I think Modern Warfare, I think. So today we have re uh, received a cease and desist letter on behalf of Activision Publishing in relation to the X Lab projects. We are complying with this. Uh, we are complying with this, this order and shutting down all operations permanently. So. That's what came out today. We only heard it, like, recently we only heard of SMB2. But then I was thinking, okay. And I was thinking Activision were going to do this sooner or later. Because I knew they were going to get pissy when they started hearing about this whole client shit. And I'm surprised how long Plutonium has been on. Because Plutonium has been on for fucking years. These two... X Labs and SMB2 have only just been on as of recent. But Plutonium's next on the list, unfortunately. Like, I, I have a bad feeling it's not going to last, sadly. I feel like it's going to go. So, <laughs> someone's uninstalling. Yeah, they're doing this whole fuck Activision hashtag right now as well. Um, let me see all of, like, the others real quick. Yeah, here we go. This one right here. If Activision gets the next kill, they'll be able to call it a UAV. <laughs> yeah, here's SMB2, so they were the first to go. Then, as of today, X Labs, and then of course, Def is going to be coming. Knock uh, Activision's definitely going to be knocking on fucking Plutonium's door. So, hey, you guys, cease and desist, shut down your shit. Ah, oh, these cunts, man. I'm so over these guys. Activision is just fucking hopeless. So over them. They just, they're just not going to do anything. Like, I just know it. They're not going to do anything. Like, unless you're going to give us a fucking point of why you're doing this. Like, they haven't said why, by the way. Can I, can I just say that right now? They have not said why. They haven't said why. So they, they've just been handing out cease and desist letters and saying nothing. Activision is just a bunch of money-hungry pigs. Agree. They are. They're fucking money hungry and they will always be money hungry. They will not help you. They don't care about you. So whether, like Mash for instance, he got hacked on Activision Blizzard. He couldn't get onto his account and he had all of the fucking shit done on Cold War. Activision did nothing. They sat there and fucking said nothing. They don't care about you. They don't care about the players. They don't care about the games. They care about the money money. Can we get, can we get good old, hang on, let's, let's get, let's get this up real quick. Let's get this up real quick. You guys know this, you guys know this. All right. We love, we love this song. All right, here we go, here we go. Ready, ready? Here comes the money. Come on. Here we go. Money oh, wait, 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 hang on, hang on. I ruined it, I ruined it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Here comes the money. 
Here what the fuck? Money talks. Hello? What the fuck is it? What the fuck? Hang on. What the fuck's going on here? Why is it my system? Here comes the money. Money, money, money. I can hear it. Wait, how come I can't hear it? What the fuck? Wait, why can I hear it? What the fuck? I was literally just listening to something just then. Here comes the money. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Money talk. Here comes the money. Money, money, money. That's all I care about. That's all I care about. The money. That's all I care about. I love money. That's all I fucking smell every day is money. I don't give a fuck about anybody. They only care about the money. Lovely fucking stream, by the way. Great. Yeah, no, I, I, my fucking headset for some reason just decided to shut off. Anyway, back to whatever saying. Um, yeah, like everyone's pissed off, as you could tell. Activision's been trending all day, day, and everyone's really pissed off about it. So. Lex has very much said a lot of things. I mean, even Drama Alert came in to fucking say it. Like, god damn, bro. Like, everyone's just come out of the abyss to mention it, and it's fucking crazy. Like, this is how much the community cares about these clients, and Activision just comes in, fucks everything, and here they are, here they are on the trending right now. Like, they're fucked right now. That's all I can tell you. They're, they're really pissing people off. He's ruining two of my favorite games at this point. It's fucking disgusting. Yeah, bro. It is. It's feral. It's the most feral thing, and that's the thing. They're just going to keep doing it. That's the thing. And I'm afraid to say this, boys, but yes, Plutonium hasn't been... It's not gone yet, but unfortunately, yeah. Like, it's it's coming, boys. You you could see it happening. As, as the great Goldberg would say... Guess what, son? You're next. Yep. You're next. Good old Goldberg. Yep. He's fucking said it. You're next. And it's going to be a sad day, boys. And I think really at this point, the community is just going to go off. So. I don't know what else to say. So as of today, I have uninstalled everything that is COD related. I don't care what it was. I have uninstalled everything. Black Ops 3 is gone. Entirely. Boy, unfortunately, since it's not operating, is gone. So I have gotten rid of Boy. Um... So thank you, Activision. Once again, you have just complete. You just completely know how to fuck people's day and time. I think at this point of time, you could have done something to work with them. I mean, hell, example number one, which I actually found this out very. I actually found this very interesting. Um, now I'm not a GDA person, but those of you that are might be able to help me. Five M. Did GDA approve 5M? Yes or no? Because I found out that because it wasn't part of GDA, it was technically someone who built it, is working, um, like Rockstar allowed these guys to work with them. Is that true or false? Because I heard some, I've heard, I saw a tweet about it and then I think Lex also mentioned it when I was watching the video as well too. Um... It's modded, so it's allowed. Yeah. So they said something about it. I'll have to look at. I'll have to find it again. But anyway, I think Lex mentioned it very clear to that day. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's like further on down, but I'm just not going to worry about it for now. Okay. Anyway, it's modded, so it's allowed. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I swear, Lex said something about it. I'm wrong. Me. Grab this. Okay, here it is, this one. Ladies and gentlemen, this is literally the worst news I've ever delivered. Oh, yeah, it is the worst news, Lex. Don't worry, we agree, brother. I'm we actually agree, seething. This is seriously terrible. Activision has not only taken down SM2, today they have now decided to take down Boy. The only client online for Black Ops 3 that allows you to play the game on PC without getting hacked, without getting booted. And Activision, I ask you this. Why? And that's the thing. They never said why. <laughs> that's what. That's it. <laughs> These cunts never say why. 
these cunts never say something. They're, they're, they're hopeless. They don't fucking say anything. They, they're just fucking money grabbing pussios. And they're jealous probably because one, a community member made the game better by fixing the frame rates, the lags, and all that fucking shit that they couldn't fix from their fucking game. Like, a fucking community member did better than the actual game itself. That is embarrassing. Sorry, but that is absolutely embarrassing. And Activision, you should be ashamed of yourselves. Like, fuck me. You could have easily worked with this guy. You could have worked with all the other ones as well too, but no, you just decide to write up the scripts to say, yep, stop what you're doing. We don't like it. Done. Like, fuck me, bro. What was the other one? Um, so there was one that I didn't know of called SMB2, which was basically a multiplayer version of... I have to look it up again. I think some of you might know what that is, but I don't exactly know. It, it's like, it's multiplayer of the modern warfare and the cod games i i'll look it up in a sec um this client was not even free number one and number two that is true so at first um they were saying something about smb2 was given out for free so i think they because they thought okay it has to do because it's free boy wasn't free i can tell you that much boy wasn't free and they still got caught for it so yeah, there was some story about it saying, okay, a client was free, which was SMB2, but boy wasn't free. You had to pay to get boy, which that was the right move to do it because by doing that, you're giving away free games at that point, which is part of the law. You can't fucking do that uh, because that's, all, that's pirating. Um, but anyway, <laughs> moving on. You're not going to go back and fix the game, so who is going to go back? Exactly. So. What, how, what, are they, what are they achieving doing this? Are they actually saying something that, okay, we're actually going to work back on the game? I really don't believe that. They already did, and guess what happened? The game didn't fucking fix it. They didn't fix the fucking problem. And fix the game now. So now, because this client is gone, nobody can play BO3 safely. You're asking for people to get hacked on your original game, and I'm here just wondering why. Why couldn't you have contacted Maurice, the person who actually yep. made Boy and actually associated something? Pretty much Lex says it very fucking clear as day, boy. If you haven't watched the video, do watch it. It is legit fucking all questions that we want answers, and they're never going to give it to us. I guarantee you they do not give a shit about why they did it. They probably just did it because they're jealous, they're money hungry, and they don't care. So... I did what I want to. I did what I said. And I said I got rid of every single Call of Duty game. I've uninstalled it. I'm not touching it anymore. So, and this is sad because now I'm scared with this whole 2024 fucking new fucking release of zombies. Because what if they can't protect that one? What if that one's not protected? How are you going to protect your fucking pumped up game if you can't even do for the others? What about Infinite Warfare's... Oh, bro. Everything, bro. Everything. Everything that is Call of Duty from before the past. So, yes, that's Infinite Warfare. Any of the non-Treyarchs are not safe. Every single fucking one. You get booted off. I've heard new, I've heard everything about it, bro. It's it's insane. Complete... No, it's complete shit. But, um... Noble just bought Infinite Warfare as well. Oh, fuck, boys. Refund that shit. Honestly, refund it. It's, like I said, it's not safe, boys. You play that game, trust me, even if I'm streaming the game and I do want to stream it for content, I know it's not going to be safe. I'm sorry, but I am not going to play a game that is unsafe. Activision have completely just fucked over their games too much. And I'm sad to say it. Yes, I did say I was going to play Infinite Warfare on PC, but unfortunately, it's not safe. None of the Call of Duty games are safe. That's all I can confirm to you right now. All of them. Right up to fucking Vanguard. That's what I'm telling you right now. All those past fucking Call of Duty games are all unsafe. If you have them right now, don't keep them. Because all of them, I bet you by now, especially the older ones, contain malicious fucking hardware. By the time you join a lobby, 
and someone's in there with something, I guarantee you you're going to get it. Even if you're not a streamer. So, it's fucked. It's really fucked up, boys. I'm not happy about it. All right? I'm really fucking pissed off because that's got rid of my, that's got rid of my problem, which I was going to do Black Ops 4, all of the maps, including the Easter eggs, and, and what was the other thing? Good, the gauntlets as well. I was going to do that. No, nah, scrapped. Because Black Ops 4 is not safe. Infinite Warfare. I wanted to do Infinite Warfare. Nope, not safe. Nothing is fucking safe in Stupid. It's stupid because that's my favorite genre of the series. And it is not safe to play because Activision can't simply allow one thing to happen. That's create a client to, to allow these guys to keep a client going that is actually safe to play. So that's it. That's all I'm going to say about it. I'm really disappointed in you, Activision. You've disappointed everybody once again, including myself and including others in this fucking chat today. You should be ashamed of yourselves. I really hope you are going to do something, but I don't think you are, or at least say why you've done it. But I don't think they are, in all honesty. <sighs> yeah, well, see, Chris, that's a funny thing. Console's also not safe as well, too. You might think it's not. You might think it's fine. But trust me right now. I'm telling you right now. Console is fine for now. But console is getting hit with some things as well, too. I've heard of console getting hit with some things. So just be on the, on the alert about that. Okay? That's all I have to say. Um, Steam about to get a shit ton of refund requests. Oh, bro, that's it. That's what I would do. I'm telling you, nothing is safe to play from those cunts right now. That's all I have to say. It's stupid, boys. I'm fucking pissed off as much as you guys are right now, but I'm telling you right now, it is not safe. Take my word on that, okay? It's fucking real. Right. Anyway. Um, that's really pretty much about it. I don't think there's really much else to say. Is there anything else, boys? Oh, actually, there is. Overwatch. Let me tell you, Overwatch, nice work. See, this is again, is this, is, okay, first off, is this Activision? Say it right now. Is this, is this Activision making this decision? Because I know Activision are a part of Overwatch right now, and I'm not sure if they're the ones that are fucking making decisions right now. Bro. This is what I mean, bro. Activision can go fucking eat a willy or dick or whatever. I don't care. They are fucking ruining everything. Oh my god, dude. I'm actually really pissed off because one, I was actually more excited about the story. I was more excited about the story than anything. And you scrap years of fucking work on such a pumped up series and you scrap it and you turn it into miniature series just like the old event days. You guys are fucking... That's all I have to say. Activision are just fucking everything up with every game. Ever since they've been on board, they scrapped something so fucking good. That makes me more pissed off with Overwatch now. I'm sorry. I wasn't really been, I, like I said, I haven't touched Overwatch because I just haven't been into it right now. But I was more just waiting until they actually released the PvE stuff. But hearing that news pissed me off a lot. Blizzard would have done the full thing if they, if, um, they didn't stop them. Yep, I can imagine. Both Blizzard would have done the exact same thing, yeah. But no, nope, Activision comes in and does some dumb shit, as usual. They even confirm too, they go, yeah, nah, fuck PvE. Oh, yeah, I know. I've heard of that. I've heard of it. Exactly. Take Activision out of it. Get someone else who's actually legit serious, because right now Activision is not serious. Activision, once again... I probably, I think they're now. I'm, I'm gonna say now they're probably, they're probably gonna be now the world's most like notorious bastards that no one's gonna ever give a shit about. And honestly, I think anything that runs with Activision is gonna be instant shit. So, I don't know. There's been some games that they've been doing good, which yes, the Crash Bandicoot games they were, they were good. But so far, everything decision wise, when it comes to Call of Duty, Overwatch, and all other games, I think it's shit. The delete, uh, the delete, the PVE, and 
What do we get in return? Competitive fucking mi I saw that. Let me have a look. Hang on. Let me have a look at this. Let me have a look at what they said again. Because I think you put it in chat, didn't you? Yeah, you did. So this is their fucking roadmap. So I have no idea what the fuck this is. I don't really care. Mischief and Magic. What is that? They're releasing a cinematic on something. I don't know what. Summer Games. Okay, so yeah, cool. Summer Games back. Uh, 5v5 mini comp season on fire returns. Means creator workshop mode. Okay. Season 6, story mission. So they're actually releasing in season 6. So I don't know what they're going to do with the story mission. So what does that mean? So it's not going to be like what they teased on get the ability trees and all that shit. Is it just like the old event days? Or that really, that, that was like play. Uh, new support hero. Ah, oh, so they're releasing a support hero on that time. Okay. We don't even know who it is yet. Wait, do we know who it is yet? It's going to be like archive. Oh, fuck off. Archive missions, dude. This is why I'm done with these cunts, man. I'm done with fucking, done with it. It's so annoying. Flashpoint. Them to be map, hero mystery, firing range, and OW anniversary. Okay. So we don't know who this hero is. Okay. Last but not least, season seven. We get another fucking hero, a tank hero. Is this it here? Is this the fucking hero? It looks like another Bastion pun. What the fuck is this? Please tell me this is not the hero. What the fuck? They just revealed the hero right here. Probably. Dude, this cunt doesn't look like a hero. Dude, this looks like another Bastion. What the fuck are they doing, bro? Do you want a Lego one? I don't know, yeah, bro. Whatever you want. That's a null sector bot? Oh, bro, still. It's lack. It's lack. It's like a. It's like a fucking ripoff of a Rissa and a Bastion, bro. I don't know. Anyway. Oh wait, it's from PVE. Is there a PVE? No, there's no PVE. So, what the fuck is this thing? Okay, I don't care. Just give me, please. Not a hero. Okay, so not a hero. Okay, good, good. Because if this was a tank, if this was the hero, then they're idiots for revealing that. All right. Cool. So, um, let's confirm something real quick. So. I'm back now, ready to go as always. All right, I want to thank you guys for waiting patiently on my on the return. And uh, again, pain in the ass, we got through it. Um, I will be still trying to set up a schedule and all that just to get it all ready to go. Uh, do you want a Lego Captain Rex helmet or a Lego Commander Cody? Bro, Captain Rex, oh bro, honestly, or even a Mandalorian to be honest with you, the Mando, bro. The man, oh, either either one of the three, I will take it, bro. I don't care. I I I love I, I love all those fucking section of characters, bro. That's all I can say. Boba Fett, yeah. Boba Fett will be in my fucking fourth category. I, I'm not a real big Boba person. I mean, yeah, Boba's cool, but I don't know. I I prefer the Mando or the Rex and Mando Cody helmet. Anyway, um. So, let's think about this. So, Wednesday. What am I doing Wednesday? Um, I'm not sure about Wednesday, so we'll think about it. But anyway, I can confirm to you that this Thursday at 6 a.m., we are. I'm going to be watching the Summerfest games. So, if you guys want to join me on that and react to all the games that are going to be released, you're more than welcome to. Um, next on the list, Friday. If we're doing this new dungeon... Well, no, no. We're not doing this new dungeon on Friday. Sorry. We might do... Outlast trials maybe on Friday. You guys want to do that? I'll probably set it up for later on at the night, of course. Um, it won't obviously be too late because I have um work on Saturday. Saturday is D two, doing this new dungeon right. So we'll do that. Sunday, I think we'll do Sons of the Forest. Probably get that all going again. And then by the time we hit the next week, we're then going to be into story based games. So get. Star Wars Fallen Order, Spider-Man, uh, Miles Morales, and, and I think we'll also have to try and get into all the other ones too, so I do want to try and get God of War, I do want to get FNAF Security Breach on there, so there's definitely a few things that we need to do, boys, so there's definitely a lot of things we need to do, I'll be definitely down to do it. 
at last trials is going to be fucking lit. Yeah, I'm actually really excited, bro. I actually actually have, haven't heard anything regarding what they what they done. I only heard of it because Lugi fucking mentioned it. He mentioned it and said to me, "Oi, that last trials is coming out on not the 19th of May." I'm like, "Fuck off!" <laughs> and it did. It came out on the 19th of May, so I'm like, "Fuck, all right." And they're doing what the forest is doing, which is a good idea. I thought it was a really good idea that they have gone down that path. So good on them. Um, and it's honestly a good idea because again, community is always key. So you stayed up to 4 a.m. to get it, bro. You're fucking crazy. Thank God, bro. Um, but either way, I don't think there's really much else. I mean, yeah. Uh, that's really about everything. Oh, I watched the fucking KSI fight as well too on Joe Fournier. Fucking damn. That's all I have to say. I'm not going to say too much about it. It was just upsetting of what happened, but fuck. It's terrible, son. You, the Horizon, history, no, bro. Absolutely not. Not playing fucking Call of Duty Zombies while it's unsafe, brother. That's, um, as I said, Call of Duty Zombies is over with. That's all I can really tell you. It's not safe to play. It's not safe to fucking game on. It's not fucking on my list right now, bro. Anyway. That's it. That's all I could tell you. Anyway. Um, it's good to be back. Alright. As I've said before, boys. Keen to get back on some games now. Now that I'm finally using my fucking good mic and not that shitty fucking... <laughs> the fucking shit mic that you boys had to constantly hear all the time. So... Oh, man. Fucking hell. You want a Lego Dark Trooper helmet? Oh, bro, I don't know. I'll talk about. I'll talk about it when I. I'll talk about it. Um, when I get in the Discord. So Mike, Mike, calls now. What happened to Bo3? Oh man, did you miss? Did you miss what? I, did you miss on everything that I mentioned? All right, I'll I'll go through it, brother. I'll show you what happened. If you play on if you play on PC, brother, don't ever play it on PC. Because right now. Black Ops 3 is, or well, any fucking Call of Duty game is unsafe to play, basically. So if you go on to any fucking Call of Duty game, whether it's multiplayer, zombies, campaigns, fine, obviously, but it's just anything that has server browsing in it, which obviously multiplayer and zombies do that. You go in there and you happen to run into individuals, which often I think is going to be a heap of fucking individuals that hack and put in malicious hardware into your fucking ga computer, they will do that. So basically, there are clients that were released. One called Boy, one called um, XM2, and the other called Plutonium. These clients are known as the safe clients. So these are ones that you can play without having the cheating and hacking allegations. So... But as of recently, Activision has released a cease and desist to these clients. So which means Activision got pissed off or something. I don't know because we don't know the fucking reason why they did it. And um, these clients are now, as of today, have shut down. Except for one, Tony. And I wouldn't be surprised. They will fucking shut that down. I guarantee you. I'm sure they're just doing that. They're getting rid of every client that they could find. So, they're definitely not getting it. They're definitely going to get rid of it. So, it's not safe. Right now, your only probably safest time to play, cons uh, to play zombies or anything would be console. But I heard console is also not safe. I heard it's also being messed around with hacks as well. $500. On Bro, brother, I talk about it later with that. Doc Central. Yeah, Doc Central, basically. Like, he's got that in. Contact, he's got that real clearance. Oh, man. Alrighty, well, no, that's pretty much just about everything. So, well, what did we get up to, boys? What did, what did we end up? Level six. Fuck, real close, boys. But anyway, thank you very much, boys. You guys are fucking awesome. Fucking 28 gifted subs. Fuck me. You're, you guys have already put me down from fucking, or put me up from fucking zero or one to three to 30. You guys are fucking. <clears throat> Alrighty. Well, I think that's pretty much everything from me then otherwise, so 
probably just going to wrap it up there, boys. Um, no, I just want to thank you all for coming by, catching up. Your boy, of course. Um, fucking hot. Thanks, bro. Um, <clears throat> but uh, we'll be back on Thursday. I'm not sure about Wednesday. I'm thinking, I'm trying to think, but what I want to do to get some sleep, so I probably might not do a stream tomorrow. But we'll definitely be doing a stream for Thursday morning when we see the Summerfest game. So definitely stay tuned for that. Um, that's at 6 a.m. Um, AS, um, Australian Eastern Standard Time. If you do want to stay in and react to all the new games, definitely join in. But otherwise, no. The gaming stuff will definitely be back on soon. So that will be Friday. Play the Outlast Trials. And uh, no, that's all I could really say, boys fucking awesome to see you all again and i'm fucking excited to be back in i'm being a bit quiet because right now they're probably asleep really late so i know all righty guys i'll be in the discord so if you guys want to catch up um do join all right and, uh no much about everything so thank you all for joining guys loogie mash turkey thank you for the subs scotty subs as well um is that it let me see and yeah, mash with the sub turkey with the sub and then the 10 gifted from fucking turkey bro then five extra loogie with the 10 fucking you guys are crazy fucking crazy but thank you boys love you guys have you tried saints row 2 no i haven't my dude. no i haven't i know i've heard tr I ha i've heard some things about it it's kind of like gda or something like that it's, uh, it's somewhat i don't know I don't really know. I've only heard it because Trent's, Trent's played it before. He told me it's kind of like GDA. I don't know. I'll, I'll, th I'll, I'll think about it. Alrighty. But anyway, um, lads, I'll leave you to it. Have a good night, guys. See you guys in the next stream. Later, guys. Peace. Until Thursday.